Welcome back to Land of the Wombats. It's your bad old Uncle Chris here to share some off-grid pirate lifestyle stories. And right next to me is a couple of water tanks. They were just delivered yesterday. These are beasts. So they're uh, five and a half thousand litres each and that's a lot of water. I think it's about 1600 gallons or something like that each. That's a lot. They weigh a lot and we are not ready to get, get them installed. So what you have to do with them is store them somewhere and this is probably the safest place where they won't blow away. So eventually we're going to put the two tanks in this particular location. There's a roof, there's actually two roofs up top and one is a cantina shed which we, do, we keep all our preserves in and the next will be a firewood shed and both those roofs collect into a large green tank up there. It's 8,000 litres. Whoa, it's windy today. Woo. And that will overflow down into these two tanks using gravity. So it's just the 90 mil pipes. They're super cheap um, and they'll last forever. They're amazing, amazing material. Uh, nothing, nothing found in nature. And this site will be 16 feet that way and 8 feet back that way. So we've started the digging process the other day and we have removed quite a, quite a bit of soil but I reckon there's probably about another two days of digging left to do. Now you're going to do something with all that soil. So let's go and have a look at what we did with the first batch of soil. So there's a storm coming tonight. It, the, that's what the forecast says. So a couple of days ago we deposited that first layer of excavated soil here. And this has brought this uh, level, the level of this soil up. And the reason we did that was because when we finished this concrete stair project, um, it actually sat about that far above the ground level. And so the easiest thing is don't don't damage the stairs. Just bring the soil level up to the to meet the stairs. Now we'll cover this area in the locally sourced crushed rock with lime, and then we'll put a rock wall in here and we've got plenty of rocks just hanging around just waiting for that particular job and yeah and by the um by the end of today you won't even notice you you no one will actually know that it looked like it does now it'll just look like it's always been that way yeah and this will be super hardy infrastructure and it'll last for years when we're digging, we find a lot of rocks in the soil too, because around here the rocks actually float through the the loam, the loamy clay, and you got to do something with them. And we use them to retain uh, soil against this slopey uh, garden bed, which is really fantastic. And these steel rock gabion cages are super tough, and they just last and last. There's not really many better ways to uh, retain soil. On steeping ground and you can also see in front of us we've got the boards that we cut up a few weeks ago with the chainsaw mill and they're just sort of drying out in the out in the weather I mean it's no real real drama at all they'll probably be better ready to use as um, construction for the firewood shed come uh, spring anyway the winds picking up so better roll and we shall catch you all later next week see you around